scared, but I'm ready though. No. The industry can't shake the hood out of me. About to go get some hits huh? from a ghetto uh-huh. They do it nasty. Pull up new whip and it's flashy. Gun on my hip and it's plastic. This the deluxe. I like her, but don't give a fuck. I'm fucking her up. I'm a daddy. That's how I live. She told me she wanna have kids. I told her don't know what that is. Uh-huh. That ain't how we speak. Okay. I gotta do this on the spiritual bath and what I did for that. I, I didn't want to leave nothing out. I already took my shower this morning. Usually I do it at the end. I do this once a month where I have an all natural bath. And it's really good. And you'd be surprised what all natural does to the body. You know what I'm saying? I buy avocado body washes and, you know, coconut body scrubs, washes. But you'd be surprised what plain avocado does or plain cucumbers or just something. You know what I'm saying? So, I made, like, four different things. I had to freeze these again. These are cucumbers that I'm going to freeze in the freezer because that's for my eyes. Um, I get bags from time to time. I used to have them real bad when I was younger. And I used to buy the St. Eyes um, cucumber thing. And it has helped me a lot. Let me also tell you what I did. If you have an eye pencil and you um, have a little point on it or a little scrape on it, it's okay to scrape a little bit under your eye because it keeps, you don't want to go and you have no eyes. It's just a little scrape of it barely and it helps give you um eye lift uh, a mini one <laughs> so you do that from time to time not every time maybe once a month and it helps you to have no crow's nest or no type of um bags it helps with the bags so i bought this from the dollar tree this is my favorite People might be like, oh, it's the Dollar Tree. I ain't going to buy that. But it smells so good. I stuck I stuck a little bit of, um, what is that? What is that thing? I stuck a little bit of olive oil in it. And it feels really good. I have the well this is my first time trying it, but it feels good. It feels good without that, but it feels like not even dry. It just feels really Have you ever put on lotion and it feels like ah oh, you know what I'm saying? It feels like ah oh, just now. And I needed that. Cause you need the moisture, you need the Ah, occurrence of it. This is my scrub. I didn't make it really big. I just made enough in it for today. I put sugar scrubs in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I put sugar scrubs in there. I put, um, what is this? It smells delightful. Sugar scrubs, uh, ground coffee, and some salt. What is that? Himalayan salt. And I mixed it all together. I thought about putting sea salt in it, but when you do a sea salt scrub, you put that with sugar sometime so your body won't be all over salty. But if you did want an all over salty scrub, I would put that salt and Himalayan salt together. So you won't taste the salt of you. You don't want that. You got a boyfriend, you taste like salt. Or a husband, you don't want to taste like salt ever. <laughs> Be salty ever. This is my mask. I made, um, 
This is basically you put a little bit of water, you um, spin it around, whatever. This honey, and I put a little bit of syrup in it. This is for a face mask. Do you know how good um, oatmeal is? Oatmeal absorbs the face. It works the pores. It works in your body. Whenever you get like diseases, illnesses, or you don't feel good, and you feel like weak, and you feel like bumps are everywhere, uh, eczema is everywhere, you want to do oatmeal everything. And what I mean by that, sorry, I was going to throw this away. What I mean by that is oatmeal covers the body, but it absorbs the sores you have. And for some reason, oatmeal is so reviving. It so helps everything about you. And, you know, it, it makes you feel better that you're soaking like they used to have a vino baths like oatmeal baths and when you get chicken pox or any type of big blisters or bumps on you they tell you to take an oatmeal bath because it absorbs and helps you feel better or chicken pox or hot pox or whatever you got going on but these are some of the stuff i think i'm gonna show different ones every month like different scrubs different things like that um i'm real big on um scrubs sea salts things like that um i made really good ones this one i didn't put any peppermint oils or anything in this is just a regular scrub. You just take it, rub it on you, whatever. Sometimes I do hair masks. I didn't do a hair mask this time, but you can probably use this as well as that. But this will probably be a good moisturizer with the, um, the olive oil in it. So you could probably moisturize your hair because this says all over moisture, body, hands, elbows, knees, feet you know, hair with vitamin E in it. So that has the type of oil in it. So that is really, you know, something good for your body. So I'm about to go. That's really my bath. Um, it's not, I'm going to show the other bath probably another time. The other bath is like, what did I say? It's a cleansing bath, but you can do all of these as cleansings too. So this one is more like I'm going to help my body feel better and softer. I have done a cleanse for my auntie's heart. Y'all yeah, remember that? Everybody loved that because it was milk. I used the hair mask, milk, eggs. And honey, and you put that together, honey, you got a world of everything. So, like, when you do the hair mask like that, it was, it, it was fantastic. It was beautiful. It was worth what it was. She got a good heart. She loves who she's with, and I'm happy. But it's not a spell. <laughs> I was just saying that. But it had to do with... Um, rejuvenation, reoccurrence, the relief of things, the relief of stress. So it wasn't more like, oh, a spell type thing. These are not spells. These are straight up, all natural, non-chemical absorbent things. So I like all natural things when it comes to cleansing. And I'll do a cleanse one time that got to do with candles and flowers and things like that. You can do that with your feet, but that's a whole nother thing. So we'll talk about that in another time. So thank y'all for chiming in. About to be out of here. And I'll go to the next topic on here. But, you know, have a great one. You know, bye. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. What? What you going to do? I said I'm tired of waiting for 
your ass. I hate you. I'ma have me a man, boo boo. A man who wants to be with me and my baby and have a family. A real man, Jody. Not some little boy who still wanna live at home with his mama. Fuck you. Kiss my ass. Go on out in these streets and be a little trick if you want to. I should knock you the fuck out, girl. You better not hit nobody, cause I'll call your probation officer and they will put your black ass back in jail. Now. Kiss my ass, nigga. Stupid. You better walk away. I hate you! You so stupid. You hate me? Keep on. Hey, y'all. Uh, it is Monday afternoon. It is just Monday. It ain't nothing else but Monday. You know what I'm saying? And I already got some drama I'm going through. Drama. You feel me? Like, if you put two and two together, it'll make three, right? No, it'll make four. Because if two and two was together and you thought it was just three, no, it's actually four. The fuck? That means the other two have come together to make four, which makes that the problem itself. Do you know why I'm pissed? Because I do everything in this house, and you know, I'm stressed the fuck out as it is. But I don't need no extra stress. I don't need this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit be stressful. You know, little kids stuff about the shower, about cleaning, cooking, whatever. You know, it be childish, you know? People do that shit every day. Like, the fuck? Like, you don't want nobody cooking, and then you don't want nobody cleaning it. I don't, I shouldn't, I clean up everything as it is. But I should not have to clean up everything every day for people and me and others. I just, I don't feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not nobody's mom or wife up in here. I just, maybe that's what it is about being home or some shit. Or being here or living amongst my family. Because it's a family rotation of things. And people want to say it be rotating. No, it be all on me. It be all on me. I be getting money. I be out here working. I be out here striving to do shit and accomplishing goals. It be me though. You know what I'm saying? But I don't get no type of respect because nobody understands what this was doing. What this always be doing. What this always got going on. And they don't respect me. You know what I'm saying? People don't respect people. And you know, out of nine times out of ten, if I was to dip slide out and do me, maybe it still would be alright here. But shit, I was here. You know what I'm saying? I was doing stuff. I always have been. So that's why I'm not tripping no more because this shit be stupid. It be like funny. No, it be stupid. And I'm tired. I'm tired of living amongst my family. And maybe I should just go and do me, you know, have a good life. Me. Because it ain't no sense in me staying here. It ain't no sense of me being here. And they sad over uh, fucking me? No. They mad at little things. Little things that is stupid. And it's stupid, though. But anyway. I'll holler at y'all later. You know what? I'm out here on the couch. So I'm going to look for another place and I'm going to get my ass up out of this house because I am so through. I am so done with this shit. 
I complain, I get mad, it's irrelevant, no, it's life, and I don't give a fuck. But I'm gonna get my ass up out of this house, because I don't wanna stay here. I'm supposed to go to Walt Disney in like two weeks, and I don't even know how I'm gonna do all this shit and plan to move or whatever. So let me figure out what I'm gonna do. Cause I might not try to come back to this. <laughs> I might not, but. Hey. Mm. Meanwhile, I just woke up. I'm tired. I had one of those rough ass nights. It was so bad. I go to sleep early when I feel like I have um, issues a little bit. Not a lot, but I be mentally stressed out. <laughs> and, like, I'm okay. Like, my, my family be... It'd be stressful sometime over here. So I tend to like do I tend to like sleep in or whatever. When I feel mad or discouraged. to wash up because my brother's in there I cannot wait till I move out again because this is aggravating by all this drama and shit I'm so stressed. My computer broke. So I will put that in the shop. How much that going to For real. But. I feel it hurts. <laughs> My Christmas tree <laughs> here. I don't feel it. I don't like a lot of sun. It's okay if it comes in a little bit. I don't like a lot of sun. I'm a vampire. <laughs> no, I'm just like... I watch um those new episodes of um Interview with the Vampire. That's my movie. I used to watch that when I was little. It's very interesting, but it was on my likes. I really like that. 
But I'm all going to do today probably clean up and I got to make some calls and figure out what I'm going to do about my computer and some other stuff for next week. Disney is like in two weeks, so you know, I'm going to keep it pushing. Keep it right. But anyway, I'm going to go. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later when I'm fully dressed and looking. <laughs> but alright. Hi. I just deleted my other part of the video I had because as you can see things are bad here if you got if you caught that part. I I can't put that on YouTube. So <laughs> I put that on there. It it be mediocre things, but I wanted to tell people that I've been through certain situations, which we all have. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not the only one out here going through shit. But in other words, like I just I really don't care type shit because like I'm always going through some BS. Some shit always happening to me. And, you know, maybe I need to get in Carmen San Diego gear and shift up and move up. Because I really hate this world raping my whole life. And until they figure me out, you know, that's where we need to question what my life is. You know what I'm saying? Because I go through world culture shit. I don't know about everybody else. But I be on some world shit in my house. <laughs> Not only here, out there, my surroundings. Maybe because I visited 54 countries. I'm not saying I'm going through no bad shit that I can't recognize like that. But, you know, maybe I'm better to do things for this world. And, you know, I've helped out a lot of things when I had money. You know, I helped out a lot of um, refugee camps and things like that. I did a lot of stuff, you know. I wanted to be a globalitarian. And it wasn't about just helping out the globe. It's helping out the world. Because it ain't no telling what we were going to be going through or what we had going on when things hit the fan. You feel me? So when people think of me like, oh, it's just a little hoe or oh, it's somebody I don't want to deal with or some BS type shit, they don't know nothing about me. They don't know nothing of what I be doing and they don't know nothing about this globe. They want to come out here looking good, looking cute, trying to get supportive by a man. Men don't have no money if we can't get the supporters supported. So please just shut up about me. Period. Wrote that shit up to period. <laughs> so like honestly, I just don't care no more. But you know, I'm over here watching Married at First Sight. As you can see, that look crazy. But, you know, some people go through marriages back to back to back. They think that's cute. You know, I only wanted one marriage. I haven't been married yet. So, you know. And I'm, I'm loyal to a man, one man. But if I have a man dissing and disrespecting me... And think that he gonna hold the key to my life. Like, please, though. Like, you, it is not that serious, you know? This ain't all crazy, everybody. It's just certain situations <laughs> that probably need to get looked at. But, you know, it's everybody. You know, even me, I gotta get looked at at my own house. So, you know. <laughs> so I'll be back to y'all in a minute Y'all need to look on my room anyway Till I put it on camera And then I'll holler at y'all later Cause I'm tired
Later. So, Jared and I are hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so having a good day. Yay. Very good. I'm not on the bad days. Really good. Great. Yeah. But, you know, my mom still like, doesn't know Sherry's coming. You still didn't tell her? I did not tell her. We told Sherry that she was invited here for Mason's retirement party by Dawn. So I'm customizing hats today. And I want to work on tennis shoes, so I might work on that next month. But, um, I don't know. I've been thinking a lot about what I'm going to do. The hats but yeah. well, I've been thinking mm -hmm. I've been thinking a lot about what I'm going to end up doing like I wanted to move and do my own thing I don't know I thought about moving to Orlando maybe if I really like it because I used to live there for a little while but I don't know. I guess I will see. see. <laughs> I'm going to Walt Disney World. That's all that matters. I'm gonna have a good time. Even if I'm with somebody or alone. So I'm gonna. Be. I've been having boy troubles, but <laughs> like I have a man in my life. Then it's like we in and. Fall out or in and fall out. Maybe I shouldn't be that way. Maybe I should choose one husband and go. Because I've been talking to men. But I don't want to look so like, you know, like I don't know what I want type thing. So I'm going to keep doing what I got to be doing. Uh, I don't need a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> That's the thing now, a lot of boyfriends, but no, I can't juggle everybody's life. I can be on this phone being nice, but I can't. I can't juggle everybody's life, unfortunately. And I didn't want it that way, it's just been that way a little while. Boom, okay. I don't want to take away from what I got to do. Can you, I don't can you know get it? Like, I used to do makeup and stuff, so I think I'm going to go back to doing makeup in here. And I got to figure out my license and everything. I need to put makeup on. I got to figure out my license and all this other junk. Like, it's... I got to put makeup on. I used to do hair for 90210 back in the day. Like, it was so dope. But, like, now it's different because it was low lights. Now it's probably high, high beam lights or some shit. I don't know. I used to do, you know, people race hair. And that wasn't always as easy depending on the type. But even hair, like our hair, black people hair, you know, they got all types too. So, you know, easy or not, you had to get the job done. You had to do what you had to do, you know. My face is hurting. I'm really tired. I yeah, should go to my grandma's and get some tea. But anyway, I'm doing that. I probably got to paint logos and stuff today. And my um, employer is now I get to the business. <laughs> so, um, bye. I'll call it y'all later. And I'll see you in the I don't know if there are any kind of concessions, you know. Hey, I'm doing my video today. 
It sucks, so the lights got to turn off. They'll probably be turned back on in a minute. It ain't even the weather. But I ain't mad, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Hopefully, this ain't no listening to all of us in this house or over there. At a time like this. And my computer like straight up broke down last week. So it's like all kinds of shit happening. And I'm just stressed out. I could go ask or I could go get a loan or something if they need me. But, like, maybe I'm just fed up with everything. Because it feels like I have a world of problems and I got a lot to do myself. And people just, you can't really depend on everybody for everything. But I'm not mad at him. He probably didn't do nothing wrong. It's just that... I don't know. Like, maybe he's trying to show something. I ain't mad at him. Shit, I need to go get me a job and some other stuff, but... I'm thinking about working a whole different type of way, but, you know, maybe some stuff I got used to do, but not bad. But I'm just mad, you know, because, like, I do so much trying to get everything situated with me and other things that I can't well I'll tune in later on here and let y'all know what happens cause the light's gonna come back on it's just how much and it been raining out here too so it ain't no telling uh, I'll holler at y'all later. All right. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. Don't drop that thud thud thud. Hey, don't drop that thud thud thud. Don't drop that thud thud thud. Hey, don't drop. Hey. Hey, yo, got our lights back on. I guess I thought about this whole thing, like family problems or whatever. I guess I ain't trying to make a big deal out of nothing no more. Or stress about nothing. Maybe if I focus on other things. Add that errors. I think I'm going to buy some music equipment in here. And I gotta get me another computer probably if this computer don't come on. But some music, some drawing equipment, some designing equipment, yeah. Some, something to work with. Some customizing stuff. I wanna customize clothes. Like I had, I showed y'all those hats. I'm customizing hats, but like, um, I got clean up. My room is disastrous. I've been flipping out. It's been a lot of drama, but I'm just saying that. Let God and go, cause I don't care.
garden waiting for them to get back I thought they would be here by now so I just I'm done with men I, I'm over here I feel stupid sometimes Maybe they don't even know what they want. And it's stupid. It's all a money business. And maybe I'm tired. Maybe I'm tired of doing everything. Tired of having to do everything. Maybe I need a guy who's going to spoil and take care of me. So I don't have to do all that stuff because I'm just, I'm just tired. Maybe I don't care. I ain't chasing no white horse or no stupid suggestions or something that I never even needed. I'll be okay, yeah, because I usually am. Yeah. Did I bring my charger? Mm. But anyway, everything happens for a reason, and that's life, ain't it? I'll be alright. And the first time, or this is like the first time. <laughs> But it is okay. You only have to crush me twice. And the third time I'm out. But I'm alright. But I'll talk to y'all later. I'm waiting for my peoples to get here. I don't know where they at. But I'll be back later. You'll never get the chance to treat me like I'm a piece of shit again. Don't call my motherfucking house ever again. Do you hear me? I'm not your mama. You don't hang the fuck up on me. Early. I just heard on here that women that isolate men from their life are blood sucking <laughs> everything out of a man. In other words, she wants to isolate you from problems, dramas that may occur. So y'all's relationship might be tighter, better. <laughs> Maybe even thinking about marriage. <laughs> I don't think it has to do with anything about her sucking you dry of your life. But maybe it could be an insecurity. Or maybe it could be something that hasn't been thought of yet, you know, happily ever after. Hey, y'all. <laughs> 
Let me tell you about the incident I had a couple of days ago. You know, God works in mysterious ways. I guess you would never know who people are. And um, maybe they put people in your life for a reason. So I don't feel sad. I feel like that negative or bad energy was something else and not us. And I'm fine. <laughs> you know, children come in all formats. Even me. So, you know, that's different. But anyway, before I start tearing up, Today is Friday. It's just a basic day. Like, I hate Mondays and Fridays. So, I barely try to do anything on those days. But the other days, I try to do stuff. So, now I'm just plotting out stuff. I write a lot of stuff down. I need to just do, do, do. But, honestly... I don't think I'm going to do everything right now. I'm on pause because I'm going to have to wash a lot of laundry today. And um, I'm really excited about going to Walt Disney World, you know, for the last week of this month for Halloween. Um... Maybe I'll be the pumpkin <laughs> at the party. I just thought about that. Um, or the fairy godmother. <laughs> that would be fun. Not a lot of people are her. You know who we all thought was her. Maybe we need each other. But I don't want to cry no more. <laughs> I'm going to be happy and I'm going to think positive thoughts. That just hurt my eye. <laughs> I'm always sister in my face. <laughs> but I'm going to write out all the stuff I got to do for the rest of the year and things I want to get done. You know, this birthday is coming up. Christmas, Lord. Christmas is back around the corner again. After pays <laughs> because all these all these people I have lots of people to get stuff for. I I don't know how I'm gonna do it. No, I like little gift things. I like giving gifts, you know, it's not about getting anything, it's about giving because it feels good, you know. I used to make um stockings for mercy and i would give them those for christmas i might even try to do something like that this year again it wasn't that expensive at all i don't i bet i probably spent more than about nothing to get that out for 
people that, you know, want something for Christmas, you know, or it ain't even want, it's just that some people don't have it all, you know, I don't even think I have it all, but, you know, it's just the fact of giving something, you know, and maybe it makes people happy, And it, it's not all about giving, it's about Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have to roll that back to him. Because <laughs> it's his day and not ours. You know, so. Maybe I'm feeling better and better and knowing who I am as a person so maybe i'm jealous of everybody's life so i try to stay wife with everybody because you never know who people are you never know who they are in your life you just never know and unfortunately i just you never know. People come in all kinds of formats. I love all of them. Maybe my kids are always me. Okay, let me finish and write this stuff up. Christmas, November, Thanksgiving, all this good stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna be alright. Y'all too. <laughs> alright, bye. Can you believe it? <laughs> you you know what beats next day shipping? Getting it the same day. So if shop us online and get free in store or curbside pickup right near you. I mean, yes. Or get what you need delivered the very same day you order. This is the helpful hardware for us. Renovating an RV like me, the last thing you want to have to do oh, is going to buy something you need and not having enough money. With our time spending account, we can get our paychecks up to two days early with direct deposit. I guess so I get to focus on the fun stuff. Red came out to visit in Grandma's house and off to save him big in Amazon. She was ready for those uninvited guests. <laughs> Shop legendary deals on Amazon. Everything happens for a reason. You and I need a good heart. Saturday at 8, 7 Central. Come on, Friday. But I'm just doing that. Go watch the conversation, all right? Yes, thank you. I asked her if she can forgive you. All she said, she never blames you to begin with. I know. We blame ourselves. Yeah. Joining us on Polycom well, is Dr. Frank Lawless. He is chair of the Dr. Phil Advisory Board. He's the co-founder of the Lawless PD and Center. And as I said, in my opinion, I think a wide consensus is uh, probably the leading PTSD expert uh, in the world today. Dr. Wallace, I'm you agree that she has excellent care. I cleaned uh, so it up a little bit. the care that she has at all, but in an added dimension, you think it's important it to looks like the a chunk aspect of this PTSD, place. correct? <laughs> That's right. Uh, what we see a lot is I wanted to make some more of those. Series. I had to put up some but decorations, some, some pumpkins and stuff. Because of the pain, the emotional I decorated pain the bathroom uh, a little uh, bit. Basically the rest of the limit system. Owls and stuff, and knickknacks, and inhibits any kind of, of liven it up a little bit. 
So what we want to do is we want to resolve the uh, uh, pain. A woman's and touch. We want to lower the anxiety <laughs> so she's able to begin to move and progress. I like See, it. Here, here's the thing: when we say that, that that your mind is playing tricks on your body. I probably the, have the point is people think, well, that's psychological. You know, she's got psychological issues. Clearly she does because I can't stand when dirty you've all experienced the time molestation, for example, okay. that's an open wound that needs to be healed. At least but I'm when I not say like that there's neurological clean, aspects clean of it, every day, the I'm actual like, you know, structures of the brain change. And no matter how yeah, much you like grit your teeth, no matter how much willpower you've got, until you change that back the way it needs to be, I wish I could get a little puppy. you're not going to be able to overcome the issues that you have. Yeah, I, gotta I think so this I'm is going to be a changing day in your life, and I think he's going to be a good part of it. But I'm going to go away for the school. Uh, to I want to thank all of my guests for being here today. And a special thanks to Dr. Frank Thank you for making this happen. But I got to get my head Hey um over here doing another video. I'm tired. I just got off a live off of TikTok. They just put me back on there for me saying some comments on there before. I was telling them about my life a little bit, but I'm really upset, you know what I'm saying? I'm sad but uh, a lot of people don't understand me, you know, I don't think they would, but you know, I'm going to be okay. So how you feel? <laughs> I mean, I'm not an ugly woman, uh -huh. I have fun too still, and it's not like I'm uh -huh. not doing nothing ever, I have what a mean? freaking life. But, you know, me. I got dressed up and look good. I want my friends to come pick me up. If I didn't have TC, this would be like a hundred. But he's not gonna pick me up. Is he? Cause he's never. Have a good day. I'm not too hard. Alright. I love you. Sorry. Love you. He likes me. He doesn't like. Like I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we're gonna be okay. Cycle and it doesn't break. The question is why. Hip Hop Homicides premieres Thursday, November 3rd on Lee TV. Stream every moment Mondays in all black. Time. It's life's most precious commodity, especially when you have metastatic breast cancer. I'm a when your time is threatened, it's hard to invest in your future until now. Yeah. Kiscali yeah, is I'm helping women live longer than ever before bad. when taken with an aromatase inhibitor yeah, or fulvestrant yeah, in HR-positive HER2-negative metastatic breast yeah. cancer. Kiscali is a pill that's proven to delay disease yeah, progression. Right. Kiscali can cause lung problems or right. an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to
Yeah, you know I'm over here watching the thin line between yeah. love and hate, and you know we all so, had our thin lines. <laughs> and I'm remembering mm. mine. I was thinking not my own, but another thing. Crazy and deranged. Gotta go. Uh, I'm scared, but I'm ready though. No, the industry can't take the hood out of me. About to go get some hit from a ghetto. Uh, they do it nasty. Pull up new whip and it's flashy. Gun on my hip and it's plastic. This the deluxe. I like her, but don't give a fuck. I'm fucking her up. I'm a daddy. That's how I live. She told me she wanna have kids. I told her don't know what that is. That ain't how we speak.